Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I'm gonna show you how to make this fun, cute little card using the Simply Sparkling stamp set. Now, unfortunately, this stamp set has sold out before I was able to post my project. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it. Just know that the stamp set is sold out. The dies are still available if you want or need the dies. Um, I'm also using a sneak peek project, this or product. This paper is called Take a Bow and it will be available September 4th in our upcoming uh, September to December 2024 mini catalog. All right, let's start with our stamping. I've done some things ahead of time um, just to save some time on the video, but we're gonna stamp um, the can first in Memento Black on Real Red. And then we're gonna stamp the cherry four times in Memento Black on Basic White. And you're also gonna to wanna to stamp the straw one time in Memento Black as well. All right, I'm gonna color these cherries with Real Red Stampin' Blend. Uh, these are our alcohol markers. And I'm just gonna start by using my light Real Red. And I'm gonna color that in. I try to leave that shine mark white, but on each of my, my uh, cherries, you can see that I forgot to do that on a couple of them. All right, now let me get my dark real red. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a shadow right there where that other cherry is overlapping. All right, now I'm gonna use light granny apple green for the leaves. All right, now I won't bore you, I won't color all of them, but just know that I have already done that and I have cut them out as well as the straw. You can see in the die set, you have the straw die here and that cherry die right here. All right, before we add the cherries to our can, you wanna clean it really good and then get your real red. And I just kinda wanted to give that cherry pattern to my can here like this. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth trying to angle the cherries a little bit differently each time like that all right now we will bring over the cut and emboss machine for this one and i'm going to put my can die right there on top and lay that plate down Run that through and there is our cherry soda. Now I have used uh, the this die right here and this die cuts out the bottom of the can. Well, if I can get them picked up. The bottom, the top, and that little pull tab, which is right here. Now, before I cut these out, I actually put adhesive sheets on the back of my cardstock. That way, this could be a sticker um, the pull tab especially was kind of hard to um, glue because it's just so tiny. So I thought using adhesive sheets will be a little bit easier. Now use your take your pick tool to get that backing off. It'll help you get that off just a little bit easier. Put that right there. Now this one is a little tricky. Just be careful because it is a little bit delicate and start at the end and peel off that backing and then put that right there. Now I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit so that I can adhere that straw in there. Don't you love a, a striped straw? Black and white stripes or red and white or pink and white. I just think that makes it so fun. All right, stick that in there like that. Okay, now I have also cut out the bubbles from some vellum and I've cut out a heart from white glimmer paper. So we've got those pieces. Let's bring over our card base. This is a four and a fourth by 11 inch piece of real red and I have scored it in the middle. I've cut a piece of designer series paper, the Take a Bow designer series paper. You can see it's actually Christmas paper, but it works perfectly for this project. And I'm gonna put adhesive on it. Now I've 
cut it so that it covers the whole card front, four and a fourth by five and a half, okay? There we go. Now I've got two pieces of basic white and we're gonna glue them like that with this separated in here. But before I do that, I wanna stamp those bubbles on the basic white piece. So I'm gonna take Smoky Slate and the bubbles and I'm just gonna kind of stamp them like they're coming out of that can. I'm also gonna stamp that sentiment right there in the corner. We'll do that with Memento Black. Right there. Okay. Now bring back your card and I'm gonna use dimensionals. And we'll start with the piece on the right side first. I like to put a dimensional in each corner. Put that right there. You wanna leave kind of about, about a quarter inch around for the, the edges. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna leave about, maybe about a half an inch between those. I'll have the measurements, the specific measurements for these on my blog. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you go back over there to get that for those details. All right, we're gonna put that little can right there. Now we're just gonna take our cherries and you know what, let's start with the heart. We'll put the heart right here and then we'll put one set of cherries peeking out from behind there. And then we'll put another one on the front. Can you tell I like dimensionals? I really like to use lots of dimensionals. And then we'll take one more and we'll have it kind of coming out from back there. All right, now I've got these awesome iridescent faceted gems. These are from our annual catalog, and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle those like their bubbles too. Just all over the card front. Okay, now let's make the inside just as cute. I saved a, a piece of, when I cut that paper down, I saved a half inch piece. So I'm just gonna take that and put that right across there. And then we'll take the bubbles. Let's see here, are my bubbles and my smoky slate. And we'll just do some bubbles like that. And take our dimensionals. Put that right there. And then we will adhere that on the inside of our cards, or our card. Like that. Now that DSP is four and a fourth inches across, so it's gonna go all the way across that card. All right, and there you have it. A really fun, festive, cute little card. I think that would be either a great thank you card or even a birthday card. All right, make sure you click the link on your here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I will have two other Simply Sparkling projects to share with you, as well as the measurements and the supply list. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.